Hello and welcome to Road to Endgame, my Thor cosplay video. I'm starting out by doing the measurements. Again, this is a Thor Infinity World. And then, yeah, Infinity World. I made the same mistake in the other video. Thor Infinity War costume. Uh, I don't know what he's wearing in Endgame. I assume it's the same costume. I haven't really seen it. I seen I saw like the brief small little trailer, but I'm trying to avoid as much as I can on it. But yeah, right here I'm just doing some measurements. I'm using the Hot Toys Thor figure to just kind of measure that out, and then I'm writing down all the measurements, and then I'm going to translate it to or convert it to measurements that'll work for me. You can see in this part here, I'm taking that information that I just got and kind of you know converting it to actual size measurements and you know just just drawing it out got my ruler i'm drawing everything out i'm trying to do it as best as i can i did this when i did the uh avengers 2 thor costume uh age of ultron that's what it was that's kind of what i i go for i did it well i did that all on the computer actually i printed that off myself but i like to make my own pattern and just kind of do all my own measurements and do it all from scratch myself and you know usually that works it worked pretty well last time the time before, I did kind of what I'm doing now, but I did a very half-assed job when I did the original Thor costume. And it was pretty good, but it was super uncomfortable. And actually, the, the Avengers 2 Thor was pretty uncomfortable too. It was better than the first one, but it was still pretty uncomfortable. And that's what I really strive to do with this costume, is try to make it as comfortable as possible. So what I like to do is I like to pin the patterns to the foam before I do any tracing or any cutting out or anything. And that just helps keep the pattern stable. I've seen people do it before where they just kind of take the pattern and put it on there and start cutting it out. And I, I don't understand how you do that, you know? How do you keep the pattern from sliding around? Like, it's it's just going to create an issue. One of the biggest things here is I wanted to make sure my the armholes were big enough. Uh, one of the things that I did in the last costume was I screwed up and I made the armholes too small. And then I had to cut them all back out and it took a lot of backtracking. So I'm just cutting the neck out, the neck piece out here because I wanted to make this all one big piece and then add the details on with the smaller pieces. I figured that'd be a lot easier. I thought that that would be, you know, rather than making two separate, a chest piece and a back piece and then gluing them together, I thought it'd be more stable, more, um, more sturdy if it was all one piece. And it worked pretty well for the last costume, but like I said, it was pretty uncomfortable overall. I'm hoping that this works a lot better. You know, and here I'm just doing some more detail work. I'm erasing some of the extra lines and trying to make everything perfect. Like I said, my, my main goal is to make it as comfortable as possible. I'll go into more detail on what was and wasn't com comfortable later. But this is about the point where I started realizing that if I continue doing it this way, it's going to kind of just turn out the same way that my last costume did, where it was just not comfortable. So instead of doing that, I decided to go back and buy a pattern from this guy that online and i'm gonna link that down below i'll link his video in his etsy so he has credit for that maybe i'll put his name up on the screen anyways i ended up buying his pattern just just because i've seen people use it before i watched his video where he used his own pattern and made it and it just it worked way better yeah so i bought the pattern here's me laying it out getting ready to cut it up i originally went to like staples so i was gonna have them print it all on one big piece and this is the pattern it's two separate patterns it's the chest piece pattern like the full chest the chest bag and then the neck part it's all one piece and then the other file is the the arm things and the boots and when the lady put it all together and she put the file up and she got the measurements and for just the boots and the the gauntlet parts which is much smaller than this probably like a third of the size she goes all right that's gonna be like 50 bucks and i'm like excuse me she's like yeah it's a lot of it's a big file and i'm like all right never mind so I went and I, I spent $5 and I bought a cardstock. I printed it on myself and I sat down and I was going to cut it all out myself. But I'm not very good at aligning this stuff. For whatever reason, it's very hard for me to line these this pattern together and like tape, tape it together. And the stuff that I did, I did a pretty decent job on. But my girlfriend actually came over and she's like, you're not doing this right. And she just did it for me. She kind of took over. She did a much better job than I did. That's probably why most of the pieces were aligned correctly. So we're basically just cutting it out right now. We're getting that all together. Like I said, it, as I thought this was the best idea to try to make it as comfortable as possible because one of the issues I have with my current Thor costume, the one for Avengers 2, I'll put a picture up, is that I made it and it's 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 great. It looks perfect when you're standing up, 
but when you're sitting down I didn't account for sitting I guess so it's all one piece and it just kind of it hits against my legs and it pushes up and then the head piece the shoulder parts push way up almost over my ears and then I'm sitting there like a little turtle in a Thor costume just sitting in the movie theater and I look stupid and it's very uncomfortable and I can barely move and I end up spilling shit on the costume it's just not comfortable I drove in it like once and then decided that I'm never going to do that again because it sucked and I had actually done that with my first costume too I drove in it and while that costume for the original Avengers was less comfortable overall it was more comfortable sitting down than this one was I'll, I'll put pictures up of both of them just so you can see what I'm talking about but that's my main goal for this one is to be the most comfortable one I've done so far and I think that I'm I'm there. I think it's doing a much better job this time, and we'll get into more of that later. But right now we're just cutting out the pieces. We're getting that all labeled out. You can't really see much of it because I don't know the camera angle is weird, and I zoomed in too much, and uh, that's pretty much all I got. But we're we're basically just putting it all together. Yeah, that's all I got. I will see you guys in the next part, and you know, let me know what you think. If you got any suggestions or anything, even below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next time.